with all three of our current congressmen in Washington. So he is going to present the fair tax plan to them. And at this um, conference today in Washington, there will be some really well-known speakers. Um, congressman John Linder, who is the congressman that actually uh, su supported and introduced the bill for the fair tax in Washington, will be speaking today along with Neil Bortz, who wrote and helped write the book on the fair tax. And along with them, uh, the famous guy Joe the Plumber is speaking on behalf of the fair tax. So the fair tax is going to get a, a lot of uh, attention today. And we, if you don't know about it, we sure hope you will take a look at it. Because one of the things we hope to do, and especially for you fellows out there that are running for West Virginia elected offices, we are looking to one of these days maybe bring the, the fair tax as the tax system for West Virginia and completely overhaul our tax system. It will work, and we know it will work, and we hope you will read about it, learn about it, and then support it. Almost everyone who reads and learns about the fair tax walks away as a supporter of the fair tax. The other thing I wanted to tell you today, and if I can keep this story straight, I heard this story some time ago about one of our American heroes back in World War II was the uh, world champion heavyweight fighter, Joe Lewis. And Joe Lewis actually was a great American. Uh, during World War II, he fought several charity bouts for the Army and the Navy relief. He pledged to give every bit of the money that was earned to those organizations. And he did. Every penny. He never earned a dime. He just put on the fight. And guess what happened to him? The IRS said that was income and he needed to pay taxes on that. And the IRS followed Joe Lewis to his death in 1981 collecting nice those taxes. And he died a very poor man. That story always bothered me because of the unfairness of the tax code. And lo and behold, last year, after only nine months into his presidency, there was a man, a backroom politician, community organizer, that was had gone across this globe and apologized for America and then turned around and won the Nobel Peace Prize. What's happened to this country? <laughs> With that winning, he won heard a raspberry back there somewhere. $1.4 million. Dollars. And I got to thinking, you know, I heard a story like this because Obama said he was going to give all of his money to charity. And I got to wondering, is he going to have to pay taxes on that? I think he's going to give it to the Tea Party. <laughs> well, I thought, okay, I'm just going to Google that question. Turned out there were a lot of other people curious about that, and that question has been asked many times. Well, guess what? In the IRS tax code, there is a special provision for Nobel Prize winners. <laughs> Might be yes, small, but I don't mighty. think Obama's going to have to pay any taxes. All they have to do is follow the steps in the code, and he'll be all well, right. It's like Bev told me the other night. She and said, my point to you is, so many people support us that aren't active, so but they support what unfair. we're doing. Yeah. But they just don't. It is now sixty-seven thousand pages long. Or want to take the time? It's yeah, been it's amended it's over sixteen thousand times. It is a convoluted mess I mean, of two weeks to this time. Two weeks to <laughs> favors yeah. and all we had. special deals, I think a lot of and it goes on and on, her. and it is unfixable. <laughs> I didn't do any it fires. needs Last eliminated, and that's oh, what we're yeah. about with the fair tax. The fair tax eliminates all income-based <laughs> taxes, and we revert 
to a David overscheduled your tax day week. Tax. Yes, he did. Please His don't fault. confuse that with the value added tax. It is nowhere near the same. And the value added so what, tax that they're talking about now? right now is in addition to I your income that plaque, tax. Emailed him. The fair tax Good. does not do that. In fact, the fair yeah, tax plan seeks to eliminate the 16th That's Amendment good. to begin like with thing. and then incorporate I the fair tax so. plan. So, our mission is to tell you how unfair this code is, and you probably already know that. And today, this is a beautiful spring day, That's but it is also oh, uh, the day, the dreaded day, yeah, I can't think of his name. that we Maybe must apply to all of that convoluted mess. Okay, it's something else. Yeah, so, I don't know. when you hear he about this, out stuff a little bit ago. Yeah, for House of Delegates. Please take a look. It is a, it's a plan that can work and, and shed the shackles that are around our neck. And we want to make this really here. just and another I've spring seen, day. He came up and spoke to me. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Yay, Angie! Now, Winkley, please be fast. Yeah. <laughs> I told him I said, take it up and repeat yeah, yourself minutes. over and over again. <laughs> what time is it? 25 after. We'll shoot. Well, we got the limit says to 2 o'clock, right? Party. Sandy mm -hmm. Stats and it all our uh, friends and neighbors who showed up but today. But I announced it to one part of, of our country. My name is Bob Winkler. I'm the president of the Wood County Tea Party. My fellow patriots, <laughs> today we find ourselves in a situation with their five whole members. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where the equivalent of kings, you can turn us down in the executive. Uh,